Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paul, and I am a nerd, and you are here for the March 2017 Coffee Pot webinar, where today we are pleased to have Brett Owens from Cometa to tell us all about their timekeeping product and how it works with tabs. So i throw away this piece of paper then, and I'm going to hit all the magic buttons, and when I do, we're going to be looking at Brett's screen and he is going to talk to us about Chrometa. Now, Brett, while I'm doing that, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and uh, and who Chrometa is, and, and we'll get it switched over to you. Thanks, Paul. Sure. So we uh, started Chrometa in 2008. My co-founder uh, and I, so he's a guy uh, I, uh, I was working with. Uh, at the time for software company in San Francisco, our joke was that we uh, started on the same day and I got there 10 minutes before him, so I got the good chair, the good desk, and he regretted it for the next uh -huh. three and a half years. But we became good friends and uh, ended up starting this company together in 2008. So we launched the first version of Chrometa uh, in 2009, and the uh, inspiration and the, the person we blame is uh, an attorney friend of mine from college, and uh, his... Um, vision uh, for the product was he, he, he just didn't want to do his time um, at the end of the month because he didn't keep track of it as he as he went and uh, he hated having to uh, turn in his time sheet. So he said, hey, you guys seem smart. Why don't you just build something that does that? So through the years, that's, that's, what, we've, uh, that's what we've put together is a uh, uh, time tracker that will uh, capture time as you go. So what I'm going to demonstrate for you here is time captured for my Mac. Uh, and as well as from my Android phone. Uh, for iPhone users, for PC users, um, we've got the same uh, types of uh, passive tracking uh, capabilities going on. So let me step you through my Mac time first, uh, and then we will uh, chat about mobile, uh, and then we'll get into uh, the integration with Tab 3 um, as well. So this is some of my time captures from yesterday, uh, again, from, from my Mac here. So this is being captured by my time tracker. I've got this running uh, just in the background. So as I open up a window, I open up an email from Paul, it's going to capture that time and, and kind of start an implicit timer. So I've got all my email time from yesterday captured here. So you can see uh, my total time in Gmail is then broken down uh, by email, where this email here with Jason uh, took, uh, we spent four minutes in total on this. This email with Kevin and Chad, another four minutes here. So these are bits of time that might otherwise be lost as you just kind of fire up an email. Uh, but we've got these captured here. And uh, in a couple minutes, we'll go through the process of categorizing these to your timesheet and then ultimately sending these um, to tab three. So we're doing every application on your computer. So whether it's an Excel uh, file, Microsoft uh, Word, WordPerfect, any, uh, anything uh, on, the, on the desktop, web time as well. We're capturing uh, what the application was and then what activity were we doing within that application and how uh, much total time did we spend. So where does this time come from? We actually do a play-by-play -play on our timeline, which is also available to you. As you can see, I started my day yesterday at 8.23 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, start rolling through email. Uh, like many of you, I'm multitasking as I go, so I'm mouncing between email to the web. Um, out the Word documents and stuff, so it's so bouncing around, get a mobile phone call in here. But all, the nice thing is that all this is captured in the timeline, and uh, we do have it uh, all the way down to the minute um, if we need to come back and get it. Um, so now the question is how do we get this time, uh, how do we get this moved over to our uh, timesheet so we can ultimately get that over to tab. So let's take uh, some of those emails kind of walk you through that process. So for example, my email uh, exchanged back and forth with Jason yesterday. What I can do is hit the uh, move the project drop down. And Paul's going to take you through the tab setup, but ultimately my tabs projects are, are going to be available to me here. So I can say that Jason is part of, uh, I can say Jason is part of this project here. So what I'm going to do is move it, uh, move my time entry uh, over to this project, and then I, I could also add uh, an annotation here. So I could say that uh, this is uh, my morning uh, email correspondence. Uh, Jason and his team. I save this. What I'm doing is I'm moving it from my unbuilt time down to my timesheet now so that uh, it's kind of uh, uh, teed up and ready for uh, that export over to tabs. So uh, what I've got here is that I've got the four-minute entry. My rounding setting is set at six minutes or 0.1. 
still mounting up the four minutes to the six here, and then uh, yeah, I've got this ready to go. So I could add more uh, and kind of build out my timesheet as I go, and then I'm going to eventually be able to ex export out to tab um, in one fell swoop here over um, on the right side. So we've got a bunch of uh, practice management systems that we're uh, integrating with, so you may see some other uh, names pop in here as, uh, um, as well on the export side of things. Okay, so in terms of shortcuts then, so let's say I email with uh, Jason or I email with uh, Kevin here a lot and uh, I don't want to have to bucket that every time. I could create a rule that tells the system that says, hey, anytime, uh, anytime I email with, uh, uh, let me just say, anytime I email with Chad here, what I'm going to do is tell the system I always want to move it to uh, this client, this matter. I could also add an annotation if I like, and if I want to apply it to the path, I can do this as well. Um, so I can apply it to a certain date range, or I can just run this over all of uh, history. So what this is going to do then, if I apply it to the path, it's going to take all my previous emails that have been captured, time with chat, I'll get those to the path, and then also do that uh, going forward. So we've got a handy little preview uh, button so we can see all some, uh, some examples of the emails that I've uh, had with chat that will be captured here. And then if I want to categorize and create that rule, I can do that uh, in one fell swoop. So what that's going to then do for me is gradually as I go, I'm going to have more time automatically bucketed down my timesheet for me and uh, kind of less of a need to do it from the uh, unbuilt time section. Uh, moving on to mobile, since that's always a popular uh, topic with folks, I do have some text messages, phone calls in here for my Android phone. So if I have a contact in my phone, that will be ported in um, automatically. I think I've got some... Uh, or we get back here. Um, so for uh, yeah, Android phone. So we will get the contact name if we uh, if we have a contact uh, available in the phone. We'll pull that. Uh, text messages, phone calls. We can actually also do email on the phone for Gmail users. So we do have a way to tap into the mobile uh, Gmail side of things as well. Uh, for I iPhone users, uh, we have to go directly to the carrier because I, uh, Apple doesn't allow us to pull uh, the call logs are a little more restrictive, as I'm sure most Apple users um, are aware of. But we can still get the phone call log in from the carriers. We kind of a backdoor way to do that. We can uh, give you a hand with uh, if you are interested in getting those calls in. Um, so let's see. In terms of sending um, this time out, then so we've got a host of integrations. So when we are setting up. Uh, the uh, tabs integration, what we'll do is we'll get you uh, the tabs version that we have, and we will get uh, Chrometa connected up with tabs so that we can import your time um, in from, uh, what we're going to do is basically import your client and matter list in from tabs over on our side. So we'll do that in our client and project list. So this will pull in directly from tabs so that in that uh, move to project drop down that I showed you, we will have your uh, tabs info available uh, here. So then you can build your timesheet and then export it out to tab. So it's as if you're kind of outsourcing your, your timekeeping to us. Uh, or alternatively, you can use this as a backup if, if you like the uh, safety net aspect of having all your time captured in the timeline and being able to associate uh, certain minutes or dig for uh, certain uh, uh, times, you can do that here as well. And then just kind of kick it across the tabs um, when, when, when you're ready to go. In terms of uh, um, devices that we support, so let me show you those. So we have uh, PC and Mac uh, time trackers, and then uh, Android and iPhone apps that you can put on your phone uh, for the uh, kind of path and, uh, time capture that we've walked through. So that's how this happens. So you can set it up on more than one device, and then we'll port all of your time into here. And then in terms of pricing, uh, depending on the number of devices that uh, you'd like to set it up on that kind of gauges our pricing plan. So we've got a startup plan that for one time tracker, uh, we've got a basic plan for two, and then a flex plan accommodates up to four if you want to load it up on uh, two or three computers, one smartphone. Um, you can do that. Everything uh, includes uh, integrations and exports, and then uh, phone, uh, email, and live chat support. And then we do live chat support uh, six days a week starting Sunday through Friday. So you will see that as well uh, within our website here, lower right within uh, Chromata here in the lower right so you can get uh, help in real time there. And then uh, finally, of course, a 30-day free trial so if you're interested in signing up, you can uh, just kind of hit any of those banners on our website. So with that, uh, kick it back over to you, Paul, and happy to uh, take any uh, follow-up questions that come in. 
Well, I have one, or Patty has one, so we're going to let Patty ask it for the person who's actually asking it. Um, yes, Victor would like to know how do tabs matter stay synchronized with ProMeta? Yeah, thanks, Victor. So the way that we do that is we've got a sync button over here. So we're going to say um, uh, we're going to import this button is going to be import from tabs, and then we're going to hit this import button to import our project over. And then this is going to stay uh, synced up. So um, you're going to want to hit the button periodically if you add new clients that matter in the tab so that we can keep it synced up. Um, but this is all that you would need to do to uh, support that. Awesome. Okay. Very good. Now, I've seen a lot of time tracking packages before, but I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is the only one that's out there that actually monitors what you're doing in Word and Google and uh, Excel and, and, and Outlook and things like that. And I think that's that's what you're referring to as passive passive time tracking, correct? Yeah, exactly, Paul. Yeah, you'll see some, some some bigger firms will have, there are some enterprise systems out there that will do this where they will plug into the, the monolith of the IT system and uh, kind of do the same thing that we're doing, but for a solo and small firm, uh, we're the only product on the market that, that's doing this. Like you said, from a, from a passive standpoint, passive meaning you can just set something up and run it and not have to, um, not have to toggle it or or it as you go. Exactly, and this is uh, this is what every attorney that I've ever met that needs something like this has wanted. They all want it to just if they, if, if, if it, these attorneys could hire somebody to stand over their shoulder and watch everything they do and write it all down, they'd be perfectly happy. But this does that right out of the box. Very very impressive. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, what, what if we've got a, a firm of, of say let's say twenty twenty five attorneys and they all want to implement Chrometa? Is that just on a, you know, how many devices each attorney has and we sign up for separate subscriptions or do you, do you work with firms on, on pricing for bigger setups like that? Yeah, we'll work with firms uh, for uh, pricing on bigger setups like that. We also have a team set up. So if you were uh, interested, we could uh, just have a, a central sign up place where the team leader uh, would sign up for a team plan here. Um, and then just kind of put in the basic info, and then we can get the rest of the team members signed up. So, yeah, we can work with a firm uh, if they're ramping up awesome. a bunch of uh, attorneys on the other Okay. Side. I think Patty has one more question here. Patty? Scott would like to know, does this add the ABA L&A code, or will the timekeepers need to go back and add those? Yeah, the phase activity code, do you support that? Yeah, typically the time you need to go up and add those. We do have uh, the UPDMS support with our annotations, so we've got a bit of a tie-in there. Uh, but typically, that would need to be added then by the timekeeper. So this will basically get the time into tabs, but then they'd need to go and edit those those entries so that they have task billing codes. Um, right, uh, but I can't remember offhand if we if we have that uh, if we have time to task. Uh, we may have a okay. task that we assign as we go in the tab. Okay. We'll uh, we'll do a little research on that and get back to Scott then. Okay. Very good. I'm going to switch this back to me and very quickly uh, talk to people about how we store our content on the web. Let me get myself back here. We, uh, of course, we most people that have attended these webinars that we give before know that we have all of our content stored at attorneycomputersystems.com with a bit of an emphasis there on the last S in the word system. So it's attorneycomputersystems.com, and we're apparently having a little bit of a People must be rushing to our website to get this information at this very moment. Let's try this again. We're, uh, we were talking to Brett as we were getting ready. Patty and I are in uh, Dundee, Michigan, where Attorney Computer Systems is, where we have had 60-65 um, uh, mile an hour winds on Wednesday and are still without power. Uh, and it is 20 to 30 degrees out. Brett, is in Sacramento, California, where uh, we are not feeling sorry for him because he had to get up three hours 
uh, he had to get up to, to attend this because it's three hours earlier than, than where we are, uh, because he has 70 degree temperatures. And, and Brett, let me, let me ask you this. When, when you go outside today, are you going to put on a light jacket? Because I understand that's what the people out there on the West Coast do when it's they, 70 they, degrees. They, they, they like to participate <laughs> in the season. So when it dips in the season, yeah. they'll get the, uh, they'll get the gloves and the earmuffs on just to, just to be a part of it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, here uh, when it's fifty degrees, uh, we're pretty much um, we're pretty much wearing shorts and sandals. So I'm going to try this one more time, and if not, I'm just going to tell people where to go to find this content. Uh, Attorney Computer Systems, we got that part right. Yes, I think we're having a little bit of trouble here, uh, probably because of the power outage. So, uh, if you go to Attorney Computer Systems and click on uh, video, you will see all of our content, including the live events, uh, including this, which is our Coffee Pot webinar series, and our three virtual user group meetings, the Tabs 3, Practice Master, and World Docs virtual user group meetings. Uh, you can register for the next event at that site. You can see uh, a description of what that event is and what we're talking about. Here we go, finally. Um, and you can scroll down. So if we get into the Coffee Pot webinars, we'll see uh, registration information. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to keep clicking, and it's going to keep ignoring me. Uh, registration information for next month's webinar. And as we scroll down, we'll see first off that this is the one that we're in now. So it's not up there yet. It's currently in post production. But as we scroll down even further, we'll see recorded versions of everything we've ever done in the coffee pot and water cooler bug live events. We also have our um, Two pre-recorded video series. Mary Jo has her eBytes video series that are short little four or five minute snippets of really cool things that we discover in tabs, Practice Master, and the World Docs. She records one for each each month. And we also have a longer format, Paul and Mary Jo show, where either I or Mary Jo will take a topic that's that's broader in concept and spend a great deal of time, uh, 10, 15, sometimes 20 minutes, going into all the nitty-gritty of, of that particular topic. You can also search here for exactly what you're looking for. So please take advantage of this video content that's out there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, 365 days a year, except for last year when we had 366 days. Uh, everybody have a good rest of the day, a good rest of the month, and we'll see you next month at the Coffee Pot webinar series. Thanks much. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Paul.